just need one more. I just need one more. Hey, I just need one more. I just need one more. Bitch, bitch. Need one more. I just need one more. Bitch, bitch. Then I'm pick up the cross head, okay? Like the blunt, my nigga. Pass his beat to the left so I could press. Total my hits like I didn't wrecked. Who is next? Niggas asleep like pillow pets. Getting foreign head from a bad bitch from Budapest. Call your bet. Cause I'm just trying to get a quick check. Then rest with my face in between. Man, we got the lights. We got the camera. It's all about that action. Y'all know what it is. It's your boy, Son of the Waves. This is What's the Wave, man. I know, you know, we've been out for a little bit, but we coming back. You know we ain't going nowhere. The wave is rocking strong. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. Tell your auntie because this is her favorite podcast. She definitely going to want to see this one. And I have a wonderful, wonderful episode for y'all today because we have a wonderful guest in the building. Mr. Alexis with Stash Clothing is hello, here today. Hello, hello. How you living today, my guy? Thank you. Thank yes, you. I'm sir. Good. Yes, I'm good. sir. How are you? How are I'm you? good, bro. I'm glad to have you in. Uh, right. You know, we've been tapped in on the socials a yes, little bit. Yeah. Yes, um, yeah. Seeing you at the pop-up at uh, H Lounge. Yes, that was cool. Yeah, 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 you know, putting cool. your merch on. Shout out uh, the boy FMC. Shout out Jeremy and Don Caprice and all of them doing their thing. Shout out to all that. Um, and we was able to line this up and get you in the studio. So yes. I'm glad to in. Thanks, in. thanks for having me. Hell yeah, bro. I'm, I'm nervous, excited. We're going to knock um, it out. <laughs> I know. It's all good. We're going to do it easy. I'm about to say, I'm doing a little different too. I usually got the mics and shit, so we got the lapels. You know, I'm a little free forming today. Shout out my boy Rio, Real Real Productions in the building holding us down. But without further ado, let's okay. let's get into the podcast. Right. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I do campaigns every month. Mm. Um, so October, spooky season. I love Halloween. It's one of my okay. favorite holidays, bro. Same here, same uh, here. So I love asking my guests, what do you fear? Okay. And you could take that in any kind of aspect that you want to. As far as the brand, like maybe even a fear of failure or just even personally, it could be something silly or just, you know, something really personal to you. Okay. But just as a man or as a, like a clothing owner, mm -hmm. what do you kind of have a fear of just right now? As a, <clears throat> speaking personally, as a man and as a business owner, as you say, one of my fears is probably not trying, mm -hmm. not taking the first step. Yeah. Usually I, I can't, I don't want to speak for everyone, but right. me personally, I used to be in my head a lot mm -hmm. and that would halt me yeah. from pushing forward or even starting. Actually just executing that shit. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So mm -hmm. that was probably one of my fears, man. No, yeah. I, I feel like I've heard that in Nuggets a lot just through a lot of people I've met through the podcast, just that, uh, that first step. Yeah, like yeah, that fear, yeah. like you said, of trying or mm -hmm. not trying. Yeah. Like you said, it's definitely a thing because when you see shit get done and you'd be like, damn, I was had that idea and as you were sitting on it for so long, the next so you know, long. the next person doing it or you forget it or mm -hmm. next you know it's just going in the wind. So sometimes it's good to act on those sudden ideas because I for feel <clears throat> me personally, it's it's a sign from God. Yeah. You know what I mean? With all these gifts and talents we have, these ideas that we come up with is only seen by us really. You Legit. know what I mean? Yeah, like, like exactly us to Bring it in the light, yeah, bro. You're the, you're the only one who had that vision, yeah, so you're exactly. probably the only one who can execute it. Yeah, I love it. I'll be feeling the same way. Like you yeah, said, it's, a, it's like it's a calling. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a calling. Bro. Yeah, it's for sure. Light. Yeah, it's the light. It's the light. It's it's the the light. light okay, bro. I like it. I one like of our it. quotes is follow the light. So follow the light. Follow the light. Okay, bro. okay. It's the light. Well, I like that. Um, the fear of not trying. I'm, I'm gonna keep that in my back pocket definitely as I keep yeah, going through my right. journey as well. Mm -hmm. um, but let's get into the brand uh, yeah. stash. Like you said, you rocking the apparel from head to toe. Yeah, um, the beautiful flannel. But I said part of the uh, new collection. Yes, it is. It's our uh, part of our oversized mm -hmm. uh, winter fall collection. Gotcha. As you can tell, it's a little droopy and all That's that. Nice. Hell uh, yeah. Thank you, dog. Thank I you. Fuck with you, you know. Definitely you. being a skater, I'm about to say, definitely remind me of like OG skater look. Like you said, some more baggy wear. Yeah, I see yeah. it kind of getting more back in the trends and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, it is. That's why I wanted to look. I'm sorry, I don't mean to cut you. No, you good. Go ahead. Yeah, that's why. You know what I mean? I, I feel I got a little sense on, on mm -hmm. style and fashion I've always had since I was young. Okay. I seen Chris, shout Chris Brown. There you go. I seen Chris Brown, J. Cole wear something crazy like this, droopy. Yeah. And I was, I said, man, I want to make something like it. Yeah, hell yeah. It's inspired. Okay, okay. Speaking of that, um, and and Rio instantly gave you a compliment on the way in on on the T as well. Thanks, Rio. Um, as a brand owner, you rock your merch, you sell your merch. So when you're finding the materials that you want to use. What do you look for or what is your main mindset when you like, this is what I want to use as far as, of course, you don't want to, you know, give nobody no cheap stuff, no quality stuff, stuff. Okay. My favorite thing that can last a few washes, like yeah, you feel yeah, me, you don't yeah, want yeah, nothing, yeah, you feel yeah, me, yeah, just start unthreading. Yeah, so yeah, when, yeah, yeah. Uh, what is your mindset when you're out kind of sourcing that product that you kind of approach like, this is good, good enough to represent my brand? When I'm doing that, because my, uh, 
manufacturer. Mm -hmm. She's out in China. Shout out mm -hmm. to Maggie. There you go. Um, we've had a real good understanding. I probably had to go through 30 or 40 Jeez. manufacturers Oof. just to find her. Right. It, and it was different the way my approach is. Mm -hmm. On Alibaba, a lot of people want business first. That's what, of, yeah, that's what I hear. A lot of people say, okay, let me see your product. Mm -hmm. Maggie and her case, she didn't do that. Mm -hmm. Hi, my name's Maggie. Oh, okay, she's yeah. already on a different set than these. Yeah, guys. approaching on some per more personable type stuff. Yeah. yeah, and then once I told her about, I showed her pictures of what <laughs> J. Cole and uh, yeah. Thing was wearing. Got you. And so I said, Maggie, do you have anything like this? Mm -hmm. She sent me fabrics, literally mm -hmm. dozens of colors. She was like, is this what you're looking for? She said, I could, I could send you a swatch book. Okay. She didn't send me that yet. But once I see those materials online, yeah. I say, okay, we're going with this. Mm -hmm. In this example, for the oversized flannels, mm -hmm. I took U.S. dimensions, mm -hmm. default on Google. Right, right. I told her to add two inches yeah. everywhere else and that's and now and that's where it's it, beautiful yeah that's yeah. where it came that's hard okay yeah man hell yeah because um knowing m multiple different clothing brands and stuff like that i mean it's easy i mean i've had my own t-shirts and i've kind of did the the heat press and yeah, stuff yeah, like seen, that um but for me you know i'm not a clothing brand you know i like having merchandise you know so people can support and that's kind of where my avenue uh is for merchandise but that's why i love picking the brain of an actual clothing brand to set yourself apart because shout out um, Gold Bricks as well, another uh, clothing brand that I know. Shout out my boy Dre. Oh, uh, Bricks. Yes, yeah, yeah. Shout out Bricks. Brick. Um, another shout another Bricks. clothing brand who also does like exclusive pieces. Or he's like, once I drop it, I really don't want to do it again. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I love seeing how you guys kind of source different materials or trying something new, mm -hmm. like exactly with a maybe new fabric or a new type of uh, material that you yeah, want to use for a yeah, shirt. Exactly. So okay, I love it. I love it. Shout out to Bricks. I see Bricks around town. Yeah, yeah definitely, yeah. definitely doing Bricks. y'all thing for sure. Yeah. And in that same space, now that you were able to navigate finding the, you know, type of quality material that you could use, mm -hmm. how did you craft your vision of the style that you want to put forth? Like, whether it be more streetwear or sportswear, because like you say, you got a variety of options with the hats, with, with sweats, mm -hmm. with the flannel now. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. where do you see your lane right now and where do you kind of want to take it or do you want to expand it to another point? That's a good question, bro. Um... Right now, I see myself, I see Stesh as a streetwear brand. Okay, okay. Streetwear slash maybe a premium fashion brand mm, almost. Yeah. Because these, yeah. these materials that I'm outsourcing, uh, I want to give these people a feel. You know what I mean? Yeah. When you, when you put this on, you know what I mean? If you're single, you might pull some that night, yeah. but if you, you know what I mean? If you got some witchy, she better hold on tight. Right, exactly. You know what I mean? You feel that me. type Hell of stuff. Yeah. You know what I Hell mean? Yeah. Give a feeling for everybody, mm -hmm. if, even if it's self confidence. You right. know what I mean? Legit. Yeah. Make yeah. you feel good. I mean, it's definitely a, always a feeling when you put on, like I said, that favorite hoodie or that favorite hat. Like, yeah. it's a reason you hold on to it just for that feeling the, when you first put it on. So yeah. I could definitely see that. Mm -hmm. And did you always see yourself wanting to be more streetwear premium? Is that like, was that the goal from the jump or is that just something that it just kind of happened as it's been going on? Man, from the jump, I just thought I was going to make a couple T's. Yeah. <laughs> Real shit make though. A couple T's, you yeah. know what I mean? Uh, get my message out there, stay yeah. focused, but God's got a bigger plan, bro. Come on. And I'm just trying to go with it. And he, now yeah. he's expanded the dream and the vision in here. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? And now sounds yeah, I mean we see it now. You put you putting it in motion and, and yeah. you acting upon it. So mm -hmm. I'm glad to see you like that call in that light. You following it, following you answering light, that you man. answering that call, bro. Following um the light, and man. it's guiding you in a, a, a beautiful place. So thank you, thank you. Um, glory to God, bro. Well, yeah, hell yeah. So and with staying exclusive, mm -hmm. is that something you see yourself continue doing or do you maybe want to start making just uh, collections, just more just everyday product, like you said, just keep the tea, some more normal stuff just for some everyday apparel, or do you really pride yourself on being that custom wear? I'd still like to stay exclusive and premium, bro. Hell yeah. I'd like to uh, <clears throat> still have my own lane, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Still be inspired by everything around me. Right. That's where I get my inspiration from. But yeah, I'd probably just want to stay you know, yeah. a streetwear fashion brand. I love it. I mean? Hell yeah. yeah. 
I mean, ain't no reason like shit. It's, it's for a, the culture. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's for the it's, culture. Uh, you got a Picasso for a reason. It's only a few yeah. out there, so you feel me? If you culture, got a hundred of a certain product, I mean, rarity is a thing too yeah. in, in the fashion world. I, I'm not really too big into it, but now in shoes, shit, hats, all of this, shoes. like Supreme, all these brands and shit, like rarity is a thing. Like when it's one of so many, when it's one of a hundred, when it's one of 28, mm -hmm. I mean, it definitely adds to the value of it. So yeah, it's just man, like, man. When what, but also having that quality that it sounds like you put into your mm -hmm. product definitely makes the difference as well. So. Thank you, Dylan. Thank Hell yeah, you. I got you, you bro. Thank I got you. Thank you. you. Um, to the personal side, you po you post a lot of personal quotes. Like we just said, "Follow the light" is one of them that you stand on. Yeah. Where did that come from, and why did you kind of want to broadcast those uh, that aspect of your life of what quotes do for you, and how are you trying to share that with other people? <clears throat> those quotes and all those quotes that I make that you see on Instagram, mm. it came from me. Finding myself, bro. Yeah. Stash, the idea came when I was a sophomore. Okay. And this is 2007, 2008. Yeah. I didn't get serious with it until COVID. Mm hmm So there was a time span of almost 10 years where I was just lost. I remember telling myself, literally after thinking about Stash, I said, man, I could do this without God. Come on. And see, that shit hurt me saying Ooh, yeah. that. You yeah. You know what I mean? But it was one of them things where you just like, ooh. And then, bro, those 10 years, I, you know what I mean? I was just working, mm -hmm. going out on the weekends, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Looking for a quick hype, yep. you know what I mean? And COVID was a big blessing in disguise for me. Legit, for a lot of people. Yeah, for a lot of people. I feel it brought out a lot of hustlers in mm -hmm. us. It brought out a lot of entrepreneurs. Yeah. Gave everybody a second chance at something. Maybe yeah. at something they wanted to do. Legit. At the light. Maybe they found <laughs> the light again. Come on, you know legit. I mean? I mean, West Wave is always called a pandemic baby, for sure. We was born out the pandemic, yeah, most so, definitely. Yeah, so same here. And that's mm. where all the quotes come from, bro. I was lost once. And mm. <clears throat> if I'm able to pick myself up. Mm -hmm. Nobody, no chick, you know what I mean? No, nothing, just yeah. myself, myself and God. Come on. I think everybody could do it, bro. Come on. You know what I mean? The power of words is, yeah. is a crazy thing. It's definitely yeah, a crazy bro. thing. I'm not gonna sit back and portray that I don't sin and have everything perfect. Bro. Right, you know what I mean? come on, now we all human. You know, there, I still need control of some substances, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But. I'm still following the light. Come bro. on, man. I love it. Yeah. I love to hear it. Mm -hmm. um, and that's a perfect leading question. Um, I love getting everybody's origin story. So take me back to that time period, maybe in the pandemic, where you decided when was like, okay, shit, I ain't doing shit, but I got all these ideas in my head. What was that kind of point of your life? Like maybe how old were you? What were you going through when you were like, all right, stash is finna go. I'm finna really do that shit. Give me, bring me back to that start. All right. <clears throat> what was it, 2019 COVID mm. hit? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, 20, yeah, end of 2019, 2020, yeah, yeah something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see, just broke up with the ex at the time. Mm -hmm. COVID's happening. Yeah. Oh, that nigga's bored. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that nigga's bored, bored. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> bruh, I get over the ex. Yeah. We start getting money. Come free. On. Yeah. I tell myself, I'm done working for the government, bro. They don't care. They you don't. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> for real. After this, I was sort of thinking ahead. After this, what's going to happen? After this free money, you know what I mean? Yeah, legit. Everyone's just going to... It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to run out. Yeah, today, it's going right? to run out. Yeah. Yeah, fast forward. We're here today. But that's, what it, that's when it all started, bro. Mm -hmm. I was like, man, what was I doing before all this stuff I got lost in? Mm -hmm. Let's see. I had stash. I wanted to do a clothing brand. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get back into that. Come on. And I was like, we're here today. Yeah, come, on. <laughs> like, come on, man. I love it. We're so, here today. And sometimes it's as simple as that. Uh, similar to you, I feel like podcasting, I was like, man, I would love to do something like that. Sat on it, been sitting on it. And then when the pandemic came, certain things lined up. I was able to move out, find yeah. some things and, and mm -hmm. act upon the idea that I've been had. And it's a beautiful thing to, like you said, where we're at now. But throughout the journey, I know it hasn't been peaches and cream. So mm -hmm. I love asking my guests and people who have on, I need to hear a speed bump that you overcame. Mm -hmm. Whether more recently, maybe it was uh, finding a good source of product, maybe uh, marketing, maybe mm -hmm. it was just figuring out, like you said, the type of clothing you wanted to do. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. give me one hiccup that you 
think of off the top of your head that you had to overcome just recently uh, with the clothing brand? <clears throat> Little hiccup recently. Recently, literally recently. Yeah. Uh, they're on vacation right now in Alibaba. I <laughs> totally forgot that mm -hmm. they take uh, October to almost November off. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. For like 30 days or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then another road bump, bruh. Uh, <laughs> when products don't come correct. Mm, damn. Yeah, I about to say, I don't, you don't hear about that. Like, yeah. de defective shit. Yeah, when products don't come correct. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Maggie. Uh, <laughs> some flannels were missing, yeah. you know, some buttons. Yeah. Uh, but that was only, like, her major hiccup. But there's, because yeah. she's our main, she's my main outsource for our premium stuff. Got you, got you. And, like, these uh, crew, uh, these joggers that I mm -hmm. did, I outsourced somewhere else. Got you. And they didn't. They yeah. were all right. 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 Yeah. They sound right. like it. Sound like that's just part of the game. Mm -hmm. Like you said, just dealing with different people. Trying different stuff. Right. Trying different stuff. Okay, mm -hmm. that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Um, to switch it on a and end it on a good note, give me a feel good moment that you just had just recently, where there was. A small win, maybe it was selling a certain amount of tees or landing a certain pop-up slot at a certain you know, event or anything like that. Give me one of those personal wins that maybe not everybody watching might may know, but just was like, hey, that felt good, you know, for me to see that. Man, bro, to be honest, a personal win is when I'm able to at least tell my story and hopefully inspire somebody mm -hmm. to to keep going or be like, oh, hi, bro. Maybe this is what I needed to see. You Come know on. what I mean? Yeah. That's honestly my win for me. You know what I mean? I love this. I told God, the sales, he knows the sales is going to come, bro. You know right. what I mean? But it's bigger to me. If I'm able to touch someone, if I'm mm -hmm. able to impact somebody, yeah. then I know the, the brand's going to last somehow. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. It's bigger than yeah. Come on, it's he's, big, yeah, he's like, it's it's big, come man. on, I love it. I love to see that you taking it to more of a bigger place. Like it's more about the impact and not mm -hmm. just exactly the material about yeah. it as well. Yeah, Because yeah, yeah. you know, it's not all monetary for for some for some people it is, but mm -hmm. for different people, like I feel like minded like me uh, yourself. Yeah, bro. It's bigger than that, exactly. Like yeah. I said, inspire, inspiration and stuff like that too. Yeah. I do it for those little moments as well. Yeah, so those little moments, I could definitely man. relate. I could definitely relate. You okay. See, uh, I'm sure you see La Russell. Shout out La Russell yeah, Alvin sure. Town, You know what I mean? Hell yeah. How he's doing momos. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I feel I'm inspired to to do something like that in the future Facts. somehow. You know Facts. what I mean? Facts. Got to. It's just <laughs> inspiration everywhere. Come bro. on, hey, it legit. Really is, Come on. Bro. The Valero really Renaissance is real. Yeah, you feel bro. me? It's really real. There's I love so it. So much talent out here. I think it's overlooked that mm -hmm. by some. You know what I mean? Yeah. By some shadows, but. We out awesome. here. Yeah, you know what I mean? Hell Vallejo's yeah. out here, man. I love Too it. Too much talent out here. It shout, really is. Shout out to Vallejo, bro. It's doing shout its out thing. My city. <laughs> um, okay, let me throw one more at you. Um, doing pop ups. How you like it? I'm about to say, you like doing pop-ups so far? Have, <laughs> hey, you, have you done hella? Like, I'm just asking because I know what it's like. I've uh, been with my boy. Shout out Vintage Variation, my boy A-Dub. Okay. I didn't help them out uh a bunch of times we're doing foodie land you know stuff real oh, that popped really? out okay. so i didn't see the behind the scenes I, yeah. I know a little bit of the logistics so as a person who's done that and been kind of in that area do you like it is that something you want to continue doing how do you feel about the kind of pop-up vendor circuit i like popping up bro okay i love being in front of face to face yeah i love making the communication yeah I need people to feel me. I feel that. I need people to feel me. I feel bro. like yeah, that face to face definitely is is a lot more yeah. uh, impact. Like you said, impactful mm -hmm. when you're creating that relationship with your customers rather than just Instagram making a post type yeah, shit. Bro, so. it's hard, you know what I mean? It's hard to read somebody off a of text sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They gotta feel me. I want to feel right, them, bro. Come on. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, I gotta, yeah. Yeah, I love okay. it. I, I love like that. Okay. Up, bro. That yeah, that was just off the top of my head. Um, okay. Up, and to end it here, before we get into this rapid wave segment, let me let the people watching know, let Rio know what's next, bro. What's next for the brand? What can we anticipate um, for the rest of October and shoot the rest of 2023 from Stash? All right. Um, I wanted to keep it a little secret, but we do have some beanies coming out. Ooh. Um, what's the inside of that? 
I think it's going to be. You don't got to give them all the details, but just know they got the beanies. We'll keep it right yeah, there. Yeah, we got okay, beanies okay, on the okay. way, man. We got the beanies. Just know they specially lined yeah. with some good shit, though. Yeah, man. Yeah, it might yeah. be silk inside. Come on, man. man. Real silky. Yeah, that'd <laughs> be hard. It might be silk yeah. inside. Yeah, I don't yeah. Know. So some beanies on the way? Yeah, we got some beanies. Okay. And hopefully, if we can get this in line, some uh, puffer jackets. Ooh, he talking some shit. I like yeah, that. Yeah, some puffer jackets, man. Ooh, I'm going to have yeah, to be yeah. tapped in because, yeah, I, I'm skinny, so I get cold, bro. Yeah, I'm about to say, I was good. I get cold, yeah, bro. bro. So, 145, I, I get yeah. cold. <laughs> I, I get hear cold. you. <laughs> okay, we look forward to that. Um, shout out, Stash. Be sure to go shop everywhere for sure, for sure. Once again, like, share, subscribe. Shout out to my sponsors, man. V2, go shop them. Vintage Variation, all social media outlets. Shout out to... Pug by Bree podcast, Bree. Go check out Bree's Corner. Uh, new yeah. episode coming real podcast soon, for sure, for sure. Go get you a Kai clip, most definitely. Become Cosmetics. Ladies, go, help, go ahead and get your lip gloss, lip oil, lip essentials from Become Cosmetics. Help you become the best become the best version of yourself. And, of course, the man with the cam, the man with the plan, Real Real Productions, putting on a wonderful episode for What's The Way. Shout out the big homie for show. Shout out Rio. But let's get into this quick rapid way segment All real right. quick. Um, and this is the easy one. This is going to go real easy. All right. I'm going to throw some questions at you. Okay. Just give me your natural candid answer. Yes, that's Justice League. Avengers, Iron Man, Hulk, all them, Cap, you know, all them. I'm going with Avengers. Avengers, yeah. He said, okay, okay, I'll dig it. I'm a DC fan, but okay, I'm I ain't mad Avengers, at that. Avengers, but shout out to Batman. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm about to say, shout out my dog. Yeah, shout okay. out to Batman. Um, breakfast is my favorite meal of the day, so I need you to rank these. Uh, one being your favorite, three being your least favorite. Okay. Pancakes, French toast, and waffles. Pancakes, French toast, or waffles. Yeah. In one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, rank them best to worst. Best to worst. Yep, yep. French toast, My waffles, dog. pancakes. Thank you, yep. Come, Come, on. Come on. Yeah, it's easy. It's easy. It's I like easy. it. It's easy. I like it. I like it. Um, I'm also a huge fan of heist type movies. I love it. Mm -hmm. So I love asking my guest if you were in a heist movie, what would your role be? Like, would you be the getaway driver? Would you be the hacker? Would you be the mastermind? Would you be the the <laughs> artillery dude? What do you feel like your role would be in a heist movie? <laughs> oh, man. I might be a mastermind. You'd be the mastermind? You <laughs> yeah, said you want to set the whole play? Yeah, bro. Okay. I feel he said, I need to know everything that's going out. on. Yeah. <laughs> he said, I need to know everything yeah, that's going on. Home. Yeah, he said, hey, man, we're going to make it, man. We're, we're getting, getting this money. We're getting, home. we're getting this money. Okay, I like it. <laughs> Uh, I'm a huge fan of sports as well. Okay. Um, so if you could go pro or would have went professional in any sport, what sport would it have been in? My first love was basketball. Yeah? Hooper I'd at heart? In, I'd be in the NBA. Yeah? Hell yeah. I feel it. I, boss, I get a lot of hoopers on the podcast, a lot yeah. of hoopers at heart. Mm -hmm. Okay, next one, kind of in that same superhero realm, element bender. If you could okay. bend any element, water, fire, earth, or air, which one would you be able to control? I'm an Aquarius. Okay. So I'm torn between air and water. Mm, okay. I'd probably go with water, bro. Walking with the water? Yeah. Okay, I can dig it. I feel like I get a lot of water benders here. I get a lot of water benders. I don't know if it's the wave. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it might be the wave. Get a wave, lot of water. Man. Ironically, I'd be, I, and ironically, I wouldn't be a water bender, but like I said, it's something different. <laughs> it might be the wave. Okay, you, <laughs> hey, right, right. Uh, I hate to do it to you, but I have to pose this question like this. I'm sorry, but you just got sentenced to death. So what is your electric chair meal? It's the last thing you're going to eat before you leave the earth. And it could be whatever you want, as much as you want. It could be anything on as from anywhere, from anybody, anything. Probably some honey walnut prawns. Oh, mm-hmm. Mashed potatoes and maybe a ribeye. Okay. 
I like that. With a root beer. I need a root beer. <laughs> I need a root beer. He's root stupid. Beer. He said, I need a cold root I beer. I need a root beer. It's got to be mug. It's yeah, be I need mug. a mug. It's got to be mug. Root beer to, go, to leave. He said, after that, I'm satisfied I can leave. It's got to be mug. That's heck of funny. It's okay, I like mug. that. Yeah. Like a little, little surf and turf with the mashed potatoes and, and the, come on, nice little cold soda. Yeah, man. I like it. Throw some greens in there. It'll be all right. Yeah, we'll be solid. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Go um, out, as go as out, go out healthy, yeah, for sure. You know, go, go yeah, for sure. Go out hefty for sure. Uh, as I'm experiencing car problems myself, let me ask you, what is your dream car? My dream car? Yeah. Man, it could be real. It could be a movie car. It could be anything you ever thought of. It could be a hovercraft. What's your <laughs> yo 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 dream car? <laughs> Damn, uh, a dream car, bro. Um, maybe a Bentley. Maybe a ring. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah, maybe. He said, oh, you want something? A big body. Yeah, I like a big body. I, I like chips, bro. I like yeah. it thick. I yeah, he's like, he's like, I like the big thick. body. Like, we like thick. a little wide body. I yeah, like it. Thick. Okay. Okay, I can dig that, it. Bro, I'll be fine with a nice little 550 Mercedes. Mm, you know you want to like ride some luxury, though, for sure. Yeah. yeah he's sure. like, I need something I need that luxury. Okay, I can yeah. dig it. I can dig it. Because I drive a Lexus now. Yeah. Going back to non-luxury, it's just a difference. It's quieter different. Quieter yeah. in the car. You yeah. Know for, I mean? Oh, for sure. Just feel better in the car. You feel, you you know? feel the quality. You, yeah. feel the quality. Yeah, you feel the quality. I got you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Next one, kind of staying in that superhero realm. Give me your favorite super villain. Give me a favorite bad guy. A bad guy? Yeah, yeah. Does Vegeta count? Oh, we going to allow <laughs> Rio Ref? We'll, Real, yeah, Vegeta, Vegeta count. count. He said, he said, we'll allow yeah. it. We'll, we'll allow it this time. <laughs> I'm about to say, we'll, Vegeta, bad Vegeta, horrible, Majin Vegeta. I'm about yeah. to say, we'll say it. Okay, I like it. Okay. Um, I know we October I asked you kind of what you fear, but give me this question. Give me a weird fear or weird phobia you have. Something that just really just <laughs> grinds your gears or you just hate. Like nails on a chalkboard, shit, anything like that. I hate spiders. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, spider, hey, bro, spiders are sick. And I hate it because in the area I live in, it'd be hella bugs and shit. So spiders be around in this motherfucker. Yeah, bro. I have, ooh, yeah. I don't mess with spiders. I don't yeah. know how. I was in my bathroom in the AM. There yeah. was a centipede. Oh. Yeah. 32, 48 legs. <laughs> <laughs> Little damn. lengthy boy, hell nah. I, said, I feel no, it. thank you. Yeah, bro. spiders are, are not the biz, not the biz. Okay, mm-hmm. I, got, I, got a, I got a few more for you and we'll wrap it up. If you could live in any Bay Area city for the rest of your life, what city would it be? Man, the Bay Area is nice. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. Mm, that's a tough one. I mean, you got options. You got you, you got different that's pockets a, in the Bay. A, you that's know, that's a tough one. You, you can could, head out to Marin if you want to. You, you go, know. yeah. You go Marin. You can go Lafayette. Yeah, you could do some stuff. You could stuff. go to Berkeley. Yeah, come on. Mm-hmm. Man, one city for the rest of your life. I mean, of course you're around everything else, but you know. <laughs> If I say Vallejo, <laughs> Come on, go ahead. Hey, I'm about to say, stay in the V. Ain't nothing wrong with no, that. Hey, Vallejo is prime position, bro. Come on. Maybe Lafayette. There you go. Just a nice little house in the tuck. Maybe Lafayette. Or there Santa you. Cruz, bro. Santa Cruz go. is nice. There you I go. like being around forests. I like being around water. Okay. It rejuvenates me. I feel like it gives me tranquility. Yeah. I could think. I feel that. You know what I mean? I can dig it. I can dig it. Okay. Get energy from it. <laughs> Hell yeah, definitely. I'm about to say good. Definitely good space, good juju. Keep you around. Keep yeah. you nice and like you said, stay focused. Keep yeah, gotta focused. stay focused, bro. Hell gotta yeah. follow the light. All right, all right. Two more. I love these. I got two. You have to finish the phrase. So there are two types of people in the world. Okay. Blank and blank. I'm about to say, I'm asking you. Now oh, you got to yeah, yeah, okay, fill, okay. fill in the blank. So there are two types of people in the world. There's blank and blank. There are two different types of people in the world. There are the ones that put themselves in a tough hole, and then there's the ones that take themselves out the tough hole. I like that. Come on. There's one who kind of is, who dig themselves a hole or dig themselves out. Yeah, bro. You either dig in one way. Okay, I like it. I like mm-hmm. it. More like the mentality thing, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, definitely. Perspective yeah. is, is you everything. You want to see something negative, you want to see something positive. Right. It's up to you. Legit. Literally, it's up to you. <laughs> Legit. Um, okay, last one to wrap up the podcast. You could tell a lot about a person by the way that they blank. Treat others. 
Nice and simple. You can tell a lot about a person by the way that they treat others. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm about to say, we learned that in elementary school. Yeah. So come on yeah, now, it's real easy. Okay, I love it. Once again, that's going to wrap up another wonderful episode of What's the Wave. Thank you again to my boy, Alexis, Thanks man. So Please, real quick, me. let the people know where to find all your wonderful merch, uh, all your social media tags, and what else they can uh, look forward to coming up. Oh, yeah. You guys could uh, check me out on Instagram. That's Stesh. Stay focused. Uh, follow my main page, Mr. Stesh, and check out the website, www.stashstayfocused. That's one word, mm -hmm. dot com. Come on, man. Y'all know. Might have to throw is. a little promo just for this, you know what I mean? 30% off. Who knows? It's Shout love. Hey, I'm about to say, we'll you tap know? in. I'm about to say, stay, stay tuned in on the socials. You might see a promo code drop soon or anything you like might, that. You yeah. already know. But other than that, bro, thank you again for pulling up. Thanks one more again. It's thank all you. love. Thank Be you. sure to like, share, thank subscribe, you. tell your auntie. She definitely gonna want to see this one. She definitely gonna need a flannel for my boy as well. <laughs> hey, other auntie, than, got you. <laughs> come on, man. Let him know. Let him know. But other than that. Thank y'all for watching, man. Stay tuned next week, man. It's been another great episode, and we'll see y'all later. You did you. Yeah. yeah.